In today's Warzone video, I have the top meta SMG loadouts you need to be using in Season 5. Much like every other season, Season 5 has shifted a whole bunch of stuff here within the meta and made some guns a lot better and some guns a lot worse, so I got some updated setups for you guys. If you haven't enjoyed today's video, give it a like, subscribe, notifications turned on, and let's hop into this. Alright, so for our first game here today, we're going to be taking a look at the Cold War MP5. So this gun, not within the most recent Season 5 update, got, you know, touched, but in the previous update, it did, and it now just because of how everything else got messed with, this gun falls a lot more so into the meta and it's incredibly good so let's give you guys a build for it first thing muzzle we're gonna go for the agency suppressor here we pretty much never use the sound suppressor on this gun it just doesn't really ever make sense uh we pretty much stick to the agency or the groove suppressor whatever it is for pretty much any and all cold war guns so we're gonna go throw in the agency skipping over the barrel section we're gonna go straight to the under barrel and we're gonna throw on the bruiser grip here for movement speed and hit for accuracy got to be able to utilize the uh, overall movement capabilities of the cold run p5 so the bruiser grip is going to help us out there in the magazine section not the magazine section my bad the laser section we're going to go for the tiger team spotlight here but increase in movement speed and aim walking movement speed when you compare this or when you actually combine this here with the uh bruiser grip here this is just a great combo and it really really just makes this thing super mobile now in the magazine section we're going to go throw on this Thinag 50 round drum for the increase in ammo capacity i don't really find there to be a reason to run the salvo 50 round fast mag just doesn't really make sense so we're going to go through on the 50 round mag as this just works out perfectly fine now to finish off this build here in the stock section we're going to go through on the raider stock but uh, increase in ADS firing move speed, aim walking move speed, and of course, sprint to fire time. This is my full build here on this gun. If you guys happen to like this one, definitely give it a try. It is incredibly, incredibly good. All right, next up, we're going to be taking a look at the Fennec. So this gun got a pretty sizable buff here within the recent update for Season 5. Um, it was actually really solid beforehand in terms of its TTK, but it just kind of was lacking a little bit in mobility, but it got buffed even more so, and now this gun is going to be really fun to be able to use, and I really enjoy throwing some Modern Warfare stuff in here because I feel like some of these Modern Warfare guns don't get as much love, but within the Season 5 update, a lot of them actually happen to get some love, and this is one of them. So let's hop into a build for it. First thing, uh, barrel section, we're going to skip the muzzle. We're going to go throw on the ZLR-18 Deadfall Barrel. And this is going to be an integral suppressor along with the barrel, so damage range recoil well control full of velocity and sound suppression which is really good stuff so we're gonna go throw on that after that we're gonna skip the end of section go straight to the magazine we're gonna throw on the 40 round mag um, we got to build increase that ammo capacity it's just absolutely pitiful on this gun as a stock ammo capacity it's not like the bullfrog or something where it pretty much comes with you know like 65 round stock which is kind of ridiculous but uh, this thing is just really bad so we got to be able to throw on the 40 round mag here to kind of you know counteract that low uh, magazine count after that, the rear grip section, you're going to go through on the slipple grip tape here for ADS speed and sprint to fire speed. This is really solid and I highly recommend for you guys to run the slipple grip tape on this gun just to kind of bolster our mobility a little bit. Um, after that, in the stock section, we're going to go through on the no stock stock attachment for movement speed and ADS speed. This, when you combine that with the slipple grip tape, everything like that, this is going to be a really solid combo. And I'm a pretty big fan of being able to combine those two together. It works out beautifully. And then to finish off this build here, we're going into the perk section. We're actually going to go through on slate of hand for the increase and in reload quickness. The, time, the reason being is just because that the reload speed on this gun is incredibly bad. I mean, much like the ammo capacity off stock was really bad. The reload speed on this thing is quite chalked, so we're going to go throw in Slate of Hand. That's going to completely change the overall vibe of this gun to being actually really, really solid. So this is going to be the build for it. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm a huge fan that they buffed the Fennec, and uh, I would like to see more people using it. Next up, I'm going to give you guys a build here for the Vanguard PPSH. Uh, this is one of my favorite guns here at the moment. I'm pretty happy this thing got buffed here within the Season 5 update. So let's give you guys a build for it. And by the way, this is giving more of a hip fire designated build as this is like my go-to on this gun. I don't really ever run it as more of a regular SMG. I pretty much go for a more hip fire centric build. And I'll tell you what, it is incredibly, incredibly good. So first thing, muzzle, we're going to go for the repo booster for the increase in fire rate. After that, the barrel section, we're going to go for the Colvis Sky 230mm B03P barrel. Uh, this is really solid. Increase that fire rate, recoil recovery. Of course, that hip fire recoil recovery and hip fire accuracy. So if you're trying to be able to be good at close range, this is definitely going to be the barrel for you guys. In the underbarrel section, I'm going to go throw in the Carver foregrip here for vertical recoil control and hip fire accuracy. This is going to work out really nice because even when you have to ADS with this gun, this is going to help out quite a bit in terms of being able to control the recoil on it. Now in the magazine section, we're going to go for the 8mm uh, Nambu 71 round mag. This actually did get a buff here, this mag in specific. They removed one of the penalties of it, and I'm pretty happy about that because this makes this gun even more effective and that closer to just outside that close range here uh, when you're using this SMG. Now on the ammunition side of things, we're going to go for lengthen for that overall increase in bullet velocity, though you guys could definitely try something like frangible or hollow point 
Those are going to be pretty solid as well, but I normally just go for lengthened. Now, in the rig up section here, we're going to go through on the pine tar grip for recoil control and, of course, hip fire accuracy. Um, I'm real happy with the pine tar on this thing, and I don't really feel the need to switch it out for anything else. Now, in the optics section, we're actually just going to go down here and rig a throw on the iron sights, the Colvaskaya ISO3P, uh, you know, iron sights, whatever these things are, pretty much. We're just going to throw these on here. You guys, if you want to, you can throw on something like a slate reflector, but to be honest with you guys, you get that increase in ADS speed, and it's a hip fire build anyway, so you're not really trying to ADS too, too much. Uh, and I just find these to be perfectly acceptable when I'm using this gun. Now in the stock session, to go through on their remove stock for hip fire accuracy, movement, and of course, sprint to fire speed. This is all great when you combine this with all the other attachments we got. We're making a really solid hip fire build. Now in perk one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for tight grip for accuracy and recoil during sustained fire. This is gonna help you guys out here quite a bit in terms of being able to have more accuracy with your hip fire. And then in perk two, we're gonna go for quick for the overall increase in sprint speed. This is my full PPSA chip fire build. Um, really a big fan of this thing. It's super fun to be able to use and super effective. All right, next up, we're gonna be taking a look at the Type 100. This is a really good gun that I think is highly underrated and underused, but the TTK is so fast. I think the only downside to this is technically the magazine size. And that's realistically the only thing that holds this gun back because it is incredibly good. It's like one of the fastest killing guns in the entire game. So uh, let's get into a build for it. Muzzle category, we're gonna go through on the recoil booster here. Of course, like I said, we run this on all of our Vanguard SMGs. In the barrel section, we're going to go throw on the Warabuchi 134mm rapid barrel for a fire rate and increase in damage range. Um, this is pretty solid here to increase your fire rate and damage range. Of course, you lose a couple of things here like accuracy, damage, and ADS speed, but don't really pay attention to that as this is still going to be the most effective way to run this gun. Now, in the underbarrel section, we have a couple of different options in here, but more or less, you're just going to go for the SG-98 Compact or the Carver 4 grip here. Uh, pretty much either one of these is going to be pretty solid. If you want to have a little bit more uh, walking movement speed, then the SG-98 Compact is going to be good. But also keep in mind that you will have a little bit more recoil, so you want to be able to control that recoil a little bit more, so the Carver 4 grip is going to be good, but also the SG-98 Compact will work out beautifully as well. Now, in the magazine section, what you guys have to run here is the Russian Short 36 Round Mag. This is what makes this gun incredibly good, is having this specific mag on here. And also, I mean, damage range, damage, bullet velocity, and of course, bullet penetration. You really can't go wrong with this thing. Um, like I said, when I was talking about this gun earlier, is that the magazine count is pretty much the only thing that's holding this gun back from being like super incredibly good because some of the other guns have 50 and 60 round magazines as opposed to the 36. So we're going to be able to counteract that here in a little bit, but you guys get what I'm saying. Ammunition, we're gonna go for length and for overall increase in bullet velocity. In the rear grip section here, while well, we have a couple options, but more or less, we're just gonna go for the taped grip here, aiming stability, movement speed, weapon swap quickness, and of course, sprint to fire speed. This is just a really solid option, and I pretty much recommend on the taped grip on a lot of these guns. Now in the optics section, we gotta be able to throw on the slate reflector here. I just believe the slate reflector is 100% the way to go. Um, not the iron sights, you definitely need this because this gun does have the tendency to jiggle around a little bit. And if you're trying to be able to use the, you know, the correct build for it, it is going to jiggle around. It's not gonna be zero recoil. So the slate reflector is gonna help keep you on target more often than not. Now in the stock section, uh, we're gonna go through on the Warabuchi grip folding for aim walking movement speed, aim walking steadiness and in initial firing recoil. This is going to help us out here quite a bit, but you do have a bit of that sprint to fire speed penalty and hit fire accuracy penalty, but it's definitely still needed because like I said, this thing will bounce around quite a bit. Now in perk one, uh, we have definitely a few options here, but I go for slate of hand now just because that increase in reload quickness helps you out so, so much when you're playing trios and quads and stuff like that. Even solos, I've ran this um, and I do think it's incredibly good. Just because, I mean, slate of hand, when you only got 36 rounds in your mag, it kind of goes almost hand in hand, no pun intended right there, but I definitely think this is the way to go. And then in perk two, we're just gonna go for quick for the increase in sprint speed. This is my full build tier for the Type 100. Super a big fan of this gun, and I don't see enough people using it, even though it's got one of the fastest TTKs in the entire game. Okay, so now we're gonna take a look here at the Marco 5. So the Marco 5 did receive a nerf within the Season 5 update, but it's still one of the most like used SMGs out there and just for good reason because it's got very little recoil, the magazine count's really high, and it's got a pretty solid TTK even after any and all nerfs or changes to the gun. So let's get into the uh, attachments for this. Muzzle category, uh, we're gonna go through on the recoil booster. 
In the barrel section, we have a couple options in here. So you guys can go for uh, the Imoretto 342mm 04P barrel, or you could go throw on the body 240mm VL barrel, uh, but you will lose a lot of control when you throw this on as opposed to the Imoretto, which is what a lot more people happen around because it's pretty much like an absolute laser beam when you throw this on there. So I'm gonna suggest for you guys to use this. Now in the underbarrel section, we're gonna go throw on the Mark V I skeletal here for ADS speed and movement speed. This is really solid and you're gonna be able to fly around without Marco using this. Magazine, we're gonna go for the Nambu 64 round mag, hit fire accuracy, recoil control, and magazine ammo capacity. Real solid stuff, so I'd recommend for y'all to use this one. Um, ammunition, we're just gonna throw on lengthened. I mean, you guys know what it does. Rig up section, we're just gonna go throw on the tape here up here. Um, this is, like I said, for the Type 100, this is a really, really solid uh, rear grip to be able to run on your any of your SMGs and I'm super happy this has got no cons to it because that'd be not as good if it had you know cons to it obviously um optic section when you go throw on the slate reflector here I prefer to run the slate over the night model 47 I just like that little red dot in the middle and I do believe it helps me be like super accurate so I like that stock we're gonna go throw on the Imoretto FR um this is a really good stock here for increasing your movement speed and your recoil recovery and control and stuff like that so I like this and then in perk one, we're going to go throw on Frenzy for health regen after kills. It's going to allow you to get back in those gunfights here a little bit quicker. And then in perk two, we're going to go throw on quick for the increase in sprint speeds. So this is my full build tier for the Marco 5. Hope y'all like this one. Uh, it's a real good gun here, even in season five after all and any and all updates. So for our last gun here today, we're going to be taking a look at the Armagera 43. This is probably the most used SMG in Warzone right now. And it is just incredible. So let's give you guys an updated build for it here within uh, the season five update. So Muscle category, we're going to go throw on Recoil Booster for that increase in overall firing. Uh, barrel section, we're going to go throw on the Body 570mm Precision Barrel. Uh, they actually kind of nerfed this one a little bit, but with the combined build we got going on right now that I will actually give you guys, this is not really going to matter at all, so I definitely recommend for you guys to try this one out. And the underbarrel section, we're going to go throw on the SG-98 Compact here. It's going to help you strafe around a little bit more so, and I actually prefer to run the Compact on this gun. In the magazine section, we're going to go throw on the 8mm Curse 72 round mag for bullet velocity, damage, bullet penetration, magazine ammo capacity, all that good stuff. You guys are going to have a lot of fun running this magazine. Um, ammunition side things, we're going to go throw on lengthens for an overall increase in bullet velocity. And the rear grip section here, I'm going to go throw on the grooved grip here for aim walking movement speed, horizontal recoil control, ADS fire move speed, and aiming stability. This has got a whole bunch of good stuff in here. Help stabilize this gun out as you know, your magazine's gonna be a little bit more heavy duty as opposed to the um, the 60 round mag. So the groove grip here is gonna help out quite a bit. Now in the optics section, obviously you're just gonna throw on the slate reflector here. I mean, you guys could always throw on the NIDAR Model 47, it's up to you, but the slate reflector works out great. Stock, we're gonna go throw on the Emeretto TA Skeletal here. This has been my go-to for a little bit now, and I actually really, really enjoy running it still. And this is definitely still what we're gonna be running on this build. And then to finish off this build here, we're gonna go throw in our perks. Um, I personally enjoy running Slate of Hand when I'm running the 60 round magazine, but it also works out pretty nice if you're running the 72. You guys could also run something like Steady or even Hard Scope for the increase in recoil control, as the magazine's gonna make it a little bit more so hard to uh, control that recoil as opposed to the 60, but Hard Scope or Slate of Hand is gonna work out pretty solid in my opinion. Then in part two, we're gonna go throw on Quick to finish this thing off to increase our overall sprint speed. So this is my full build here for the Armor Gear. If you guys happen to enjoy today's video, give it a like, subscribe to the notifications turned on, and I'll see you all later. Just for notes, recap, don't be Randy, and I'm out. Peace.